It's all becoming clear to me. From the very beginning and even now, it's been a one-on-one -on -one fight against El. And even though he's dead, the battle's just shifted to his heirs. Very well, Nier. Fine. I'll come out to play if you will. It's only fair after all. And when we meet, we'll find out which of us is truly prepared to win and whose wits will prevail. When that happens, this long battle will end and I can finally begin my reign at the top. I knew right away going into the project that it was already a, a big hit, um, which puts a lot of pressure on us to really stay true to, to what made the show um, so popular. And it, it makes you work a little bit harder, I think, to try and do your absolute best on the project. This is my first um, production with Ocean, so I had, it just kind of fell, fell into my lap and um, I've really enjoyed it a lot. I like animation. I like doing the voice for it. Thank goodness. So my background's in theater. I got more, more of that. And then I decided I wanted to focus on, on film because I didn't know about that medium yet. Yeah. And then when I got my agent, he suggested voice. It's slightly bigger on both pauses. Okay. Uh, my first official show was uh, with Ocean was uh, Gundam Wing, playing Troll Barton. I did X-Men, playing Cyclops. I've done uh, Inuyasha and um, uh, Ranma One Half, uh, playing Dr. Tofu and Piccolo Shadang. I was lucky I was doing a recurring role on Stargate Atlantis uh, for seasons two and three and um, picking up guest starring roles on, uh, on shows like Blood Ties. Um, I got to play an Irishman, which was fun. God. Yes, I've written them. I'm writing a lot of stuff now. I'm working on a screenplay and... and uh, Tomorrow taking over the world. That's the plan. Heather Dorkson, who plays Kiyomi, uh, she's a fantastic actor. She's really good. Uh, she played uh, Kiyomi really well. We still have her to record for this last block, so I'm looking forward to that. But again, a really good actor. And uh, I'm glad that I finally get to work with her in something, uh, you know, with a character with some real substance. Ah, I see. It sounds like you're doing well. Thank goodness. Nice, just a little tighter on the first two phrases. Okay. I think that when you get your body and your face involved in the emotion of the scene, it really helps with the delivery of it. For me, it really does. And watching other actors in the voice community work too, they get very, some people will get so into it and just like really like get it and it helps, it really does help. Because if you try to embody what the animator has put on the screen for you, then I think it helps bring that to life. Kirby I've known for a long time. I've worked with him a lot. He's sort of a, an institution. He's a really good actor, great guy. And he's kind of perfect for this character. I thought he did a great job. He's really able to just throw himself in there. Obviously a really good actor and he's did a great job. That uh, crazed devotee. It's nice to play evil. Playing evil characters is fun. It's, uh, you know, if you're always the young hero guy, you've always got to be like, hey, I'm happy and, oh, we got to do this and do that. But when you're evil, then it's just delicious. It's, it, it feels good to be evil sometimes. Delete, 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 delete. Wow. There are a lot of things to, to love about Light, but there's a lot of aspects of his uh, character that uh, are a little suspect and make you kind of hate him, um, make him appear extremely evil. I mean, I can relate to him wanting to create a better world because I think we all do. Um, obviously, how he goes about doing it um, is a whole different story. Whoa, oh boy, Light's in trouble now. Matsuda, is there some reason you're so happy about this? She told me that she's planning to announce her engagement to you during her appearance at the Pop Music Festival. Whoa, he's busted! Lights in the dark! No, she thinks we're together because I haven't been able to break it to her yet. 
But she means nothing to me. Misa, you idiot. Why pull a stunt like that? No, Takeda, you're just as bad. Why are women like this? Nothing, you say? Why should I believe you? Believe me, she's nothing. You're the only one for me. You're the only one for me? Is that supposed to be serious? I expected better from you, Light. She does have a point. I think Kiyomi is really, um, she's very attracted to Light, but she, she wants, she wants to be near him because he's Kira. So it's, um, being near that person of power, I think that she's really attracted to. And, uh, Misa and her? I don't know. I think Kiyomi, <laughs> Kiyomi thinks she's going to win, hands down. Yeah, uh, Misa, played by Shannon Chan Kent, is obviously very different than Kiyomi. With Kiyomi arriving, there's, there's two very different characters going head to head in their own way. Crisis is always fun, and uh, watching people fight, <laughs> that's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> it's going to be, it's gonna be uh, a challenge for me not to let them go too far. I think that's going to be a uh, temptation. Dinner with Misa. <laughs> <laughs> the claws are going to come out. Today, there was a lot of subtle... Well, we worked on the scenes between Misa and Kiyomi first, and that got a little bit catty, but it was very under the surface. I think Kiyomi puts on a, a front and, you know, kind of lets Misa know that she's above her and that she's got light under her thumb kind of thing. But they, they you know, they fight over, they fight over light. So the scene is, was really fun to do. Oh yeah, I feel the same. Obviously, this was a bad idea. I should have waited until you grew up and learned a few manners before I invited you to dinner. I suppose I'll know better next time. Goodbye. Oh. And then we went into the scene where she's in the, um, where, where Kiyomi's been kidnapped and she's in the truck and She's scared for her life, obviously, but she's also thinking of the bigger picture, which is how to communicate with Kira. We talked about what you should do if a situation like this ever arose. Do you remember that? I remember. I did what you told me to, Light. I did it. Yes. I didn't struggle. Even when he stripped me naked, I did exactly as you said. I made survival my first priority and... And... I did it. Please, Light, come quickly. Save me. Miss Takara, you remember what I told you to do after that, don't you? <laughs> I can do it. I love it. The whole thing? Yeah. So yeah, that was a, a big gamut of emotions today. And I ended up crying and sobbing in the booth. And I'm fine now. <laughs> it's rewarding to have these rich characters to work with, these, you know, these uh, good stories to work with, and then also to have these really good actors we've been able to get to come in and do these characters. If, if you see a flashback uh, for any character, it's absolutely helpful because you can, you, know, you can learn a little bit more about where that character's coming from, why he is the way he is, and it gives you more to play on it. I think Mikami is uh, he's definitely obsessive compulsive, a type A personality, but he can be calm as day, but he's got that get the job done kind of style, which is uh, admirable in ways. It's, it's, it's kind of nice to have that calm demeanor with that little something behind the eyes going, what's he going to do, what's he going to do? He could, you know, lash out, he could be crazy gotta keep the people guessing yeah Kiyomi is pretty put together she's got such a chic haircut and shades and bodyguards and she knows what she's doing she's together I like her yeah Kiyomi's got it got it together even in the, you know the scenes with light she I mean they're very intimate and they're very they could be love scenes but I think there's always an underlying sense of what can I get from you? And he's, I think, thinking the same thing. I think she's having fun. I'm having fun. Kiyomi, I think, is having a lot of fun. I mean, until she's in the truck, wrapped in a blanket. That's not very fun for her. No. No. The ease with which Kirby was able to portray this character 
uh, might not be a compliment because he played the maniacal thing really well. I guess I'm a protege of light in, in a sense. And uh, I just, eventually it leads up to my demise for being so overbearing. God, I did everything you told me. That's excellent. Yeah. This is the downfall of man. <laughs> as soon as we feel like we're the same on with our God, then yeah, we're in trouble. Kirby Morrow and Brad Swale have both been around town for, uh, for a long time doing a lot of voice stuff. And I wouldn't say they certainly don't sound the same, but they're in a similar demographic of voice. Me and Kirby have uh, worked together on several projects um, over the last several years. Um, it was actually a real treat to know that Kirby was working on this show. It's really interesting to see the, the different relationships that characters that, that me and Kirby have played on the same series. We've been friends, we've been enemies, he played my father at one point. It's about time Kirby Morrow played a character that got to worship my character. Obviously he's devoted to, to like Wakita's ideals. But I think he really represents that part of society that is fully behind Kira. The sense of betrayal at the end is, makes more sense. If he was fully devoted and then suddenly finds out Kira betrays him, then that hurt runs deeper. And I think when, when you hear the performance, I think that hurt runs pretty deep. Do you want to do one more just for kicks? All right, if, yeah. do you want to? Yeah, let's do one You more. got it in you? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do it. It's already too late. You'll be dead in a few seconds. That was maybe even better. So to say. You know what? That was pretty fantastic. I, you know what? I think that's our keeper. Yeah. It just went to a few more places. Good. <laughs> episode 37, last episode. Big episode. Big episode for light, for sure. The voice acting in the Japanese version is fantastic. And, I mean, that whole last episode, some of the scenes with light are just ridiculously over the top and fit in so well with, with the character and the general story. So I'm looking forward to it. There's a lot of pressure on me not to totally botch it and, and ruin it. So I really want to do a good job with this. So hopefully it, uh, it all turns out well and I am really looking forward to it. Um, also, there's a good death. So uh, that's going to be a lot of fun too. You know, just uh, kind of put a cap on the series with uh, you know, killing off my character. I like the show. I like how it twists and turns. It's not one that you can kind of sit back and, you know, have on in the background. You have to pay attention. You have to keep track of, you know, who's with who and and what that death note said and what the, what that new clue was. And yeah, you have to pay attention to this show. That's what I like about it. It's like you got to use your noggin. This is easily one of my favorite series that I've ever worked on um, and that's it, not just being able to play a really great character like Light, um, it's all the other actors in the show, um, all the people that have been working on the show, directors, um, engineers, everybody has uh, really wanted to, to come up with a good product and you know trying to work together to see how we can do our best and I like to think that, we're, uh, that we are doing our best. I hope you all enjoy this series because I saw everybody who worked on it and I see them all uh, around town and they're like, oh, have you seen Death Note? Have you been working on Death Note? It's so much fun. So you can tell that the actors put a lot of love into this show. So I hope you all enjoy it. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for watching the show and I hope you've enjoyed the experience as much as I have and enjoyed getting to know all the characters and the twists and turns of the plots and I'm sorry that Kiyomi doesn't stay around till the very end. <laughs> I was sad too, believe me. Um, and I hope that you continue watching and enjoying it. It was good while it lasted. We eased each other's boredom for quite a while. Well, Light, it's been interesting. <laughs>